Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Fire blight is a severe disease that can affect pears, apples, and crab apple. And while there's no real cure for it, you can prevent it, and I'll show you how. Fire blight is caused by an infection of the bacteria Erwinia amylivora. There are several phases of fire blight. The first phase is in early spring and it's called blossom blight. The next phase happens in May and June and is shoot blight. It can then progress to canker and collar blight. The bacteria overwinters in previous infections and then when the spring is warm it starts to ooze. The bacterial ooze is attractive to insects which spread it to blossoms. When the blossoms are wetted, the bacteria travels into the nectary of the flower and infects it. Once the blossom is infected, it spreads down the stem into the shoots and then eventually into the mature wood. Often susceptible rootstocks like M9 and M26 will catch fire blight and the resultant cankers will girdle the tree. Fire blight needs specific conditions to thrive. Warm weather between 65 and 75 degrees and moisture from either rain or dew. To prevent fire blight, pay attention to the weather. Several organizations have been tracking fire blight conditions to come up with action thresholds. Use the cougar blight model in the west and the merry blight model for use in the east. Check out our blog for more information on how to use these models. There are some organic controls that are labeled to control fire blight, and one of them is Serenade. These products usually need to be applied either before or at first sign of infection. The first line of defense is to plant resistant varieties of apples and pears, and this will vary from region to region. So check with your master gardeners or your local ag extension for suggestions. Another way to prevent fire blight is to avoid over fertilization. Fire blight spreads rapidly through young, vigorous growth, stimulated by too much nitrogen. Check out our video on fertilizing fruit trees to learn how to properly fertilize. In warm, wet springs that favor fire blight, monitor your trees carefully for blossom blight and then later for shoot blight. Prune off any signs of blight as soon as you see them in spring and into the summer. This is especially critical early in the season and on dwarf trees. Prune 8 to 12 inches below the strike. Short pruning is one of the major reasons the disease persists. Clean your pruners with rubbing alcohol after each cut. Dispose of any of the wood that you've cut off and don't compost it. Fire blight control continues into the dormant season. During the dormant season, look for blighted branches and cankers. Remove a canker by scraping off all the discolored wood and six to eight inches more beyond the infection down to the cambium layer. If the area that needs to be scraped is more than 50% of the limb's circumference, then the whole limb should be removed. Don't wait around for this aggressive disease. Treat it preventively and effectively and grow organic for life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, share this video, and follow us at the sites below. Don't forget to like this video.